Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper and today I am going to do a through the rainbow challenge layout. Now this month the color is blue and I am doing this challenge with all of the ladies over at the crafty low or no spin group um, and I will put that Facebook group in the description as well as everyone that is doing this basically year-long hop. Every month, Miss Jeannie Linguini has come up with a awesome challenge to do, focus on a color. Some gals are going through paper, some gals are focusing on using what they have, a lot of different ways to focus on that color, and that's really what the Through the Rainbow Challenge is. Most of the time I do layouts. Um, if I were to open a can of worms of organizing, or going through paper, y'all, you think my videos are long now? insane but maybe one day I'm not there yet but I um love this challenge because I get to go through my things I have a, a scrappy friend who loves the color blue and I am actually going to purge some things to her so that she can use them and enjoy them because some of them my blue binder hmm, it was bursting so I'm getting ready to mail those off to her so this is different for everyone. That's what I'm trying to get at. So with all my yucky yak. <laughs> so it's different for everyone. And I try to focus on using scraps of paper or focus on the specific color. This time I did both. I took all of my blue scraps and I was inspired by Kelly. And I will link her channel as well below. You guys know anything I talk about, I will definitely put it in the description so you can find it and enjoy it the same way that I do. Um, Kelly is doing the serendipity use up your scraps um, little mini series, I guess you could call it. I don't know how far, maybe it'll come a big series. I don't know. But I am... Um, have done that with my scrap. I roughed up edges and I'm not going to disrespect her by showing you how I did it. I will link it below and you should definitely go check her out. Definitely go check out those videos. She's showing how she made the serendipity papers with her scraps and then she's going a step further and showing you how she uses that 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Very, very cool. Everything from creating little gifts to, um, Let's see, what else has she done? She's done a layout, um, some other little things. So definitely check her out, as well as I'm so excited to see what everyone else does with the color blue. I always have a ton of blue, blue scraps, blue embellishments. I don't know if it's because I use one page and then I don't go back and revisit it. Honestly, I don't know what it is, but I have a lot of blue. So I'm thought, you know what, this is a good way to use scraps. So she inspired me most definitely, as does all, all of you. You know, I, I enjoy seeing your guys' posts and your comments, and some of you also do YouTube. I just love it all. I love it all. There's no, there's no wrong way, right? <laughs> okay, so what I have done is I have created that paper like Kelly has shown in her how to use up some scraps serendipity series, and then I cut a strip and then I matted my photos and I also cut another strip for the bottom and ma matted my three other photos. Now this, you guys have been hearing me talk about me getting a new roof. Well, this is why I needed a new roof because I had hail the size of the palm of your hand. This is what my skylight looked like, <laughs> pieces of it. This is what it looks like from my kitchen looking up and rain was coming in. Then there's another photo of that a little closer. This is what my yard looked like. And I don't know if you can see that up close, but there's big old balls of hail. And then this was in my kitchen sink. It was shooting in from my skylight and landing in my sink. Yeah, enough said, right? I literally thought to myself, how am I gonna tell the insurance agent that I have hail damage to my stove or my dishwasher? <laughs> Can you imagine that conversation? <laughs> okay, now it makes me laugh. At the time, I was like, oh my gosh. And my kids are trying to go in there and see it. I had to pull them out. Because, I mean, that if a piece of hail that size hit you, I'm thinking it might do some damage. Okay, so I am going to have the title. Let's see here. I pulled out some embellishments. Um, and this was a title that I got in a swap from Love RTS, Adventure. And then I want to spell out ice. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to do small letters 
or if I'm gonna do large ones. So we're just gonna see where the embellishments take us, okay? Now, you guys know I like to do a base and then I like to hang out with all of you and finish it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm thinking maybe a rainbow, and this one doesn't have a name on it. A lot of these are from swaps. Now this one's not, this is from this year. But a lot of these are from swaps um, past years. Honestly, we did a um, rainbows and embellish um, umbrella swap, and oh, I have some gorgeous ones. I'm down to my last few. Let's see here. So I'm kind of thinking like clouds and rainbows is going to be and then maybe putting the word ice in letters here. We'll see where that's gonna be. I have some clouds that someone gifted and or made for a swap. I know I did not make these. And I'm thinking about maybe spreading those around. Maybe this one over here, right? And I think I'll put these on foam because what I've done is I've distressed all these pieces of paper so it's not gonna lay the most even but they're all blue, concentrate on blue. Yes, there's some color in here, but that's okay. Just makes my title stand out some more. I think I have this upside down. There we go, like that. Then I have this one. I'm not sure who made this as well. Um, maybe have this down here. I'm going to have a journaling block, obviously, of what happened and I'm, how big should I make that journaling block? That's the next question. Cause I'm gonna have quite a bit, maybe even that large. Eh, really it is, it's gonna be a lot of journaling. I kinda like that. And what if I put this Tim Holtz guy down here? I think Peggy, Peggy Shaw made that. Yeah, she did. She always has the coolest little silhouettes and people. Okay, so this is gonna represent my journaling block. Now I did a straight grid and then I just kinda wanted to mix it up over here. So I did that. I could even, see I need, this has a blue. Mm, no, you guys know I just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. This is a pretty umbrella. Look how pretty that umbrella is. Definitely would have needed an umbrella that day. <laughs> Oh, this one says, no matter the weather, we're in this together. Oh, I like that. And you guys know I like the red. It's got a lot of blue. Um, kind of like that. A little something different. That's kind of cute. Let's see here. I have these stickers from Hobby Lobby as well. And I kind of like these too. But... Where would I put them? I don't know. Of course, I'm not gonna know if I don't take them out. These were from a swap. Very cute. Somebody did a lot of work here. Look how cute these are. Mm, this was before I emphasized all the time too. Look how cute those are. Aren't those cute? Almost like little puffy clouds even. What if I layered this? and went like so. Ooh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, maybe. Kinda liking that. I don't know about the umbrella though, but I could go like this even. That's cute. Okay, and then, oh, this is another cloud. Look, it's a cloud. Okay, that's good. Put this inside of here even. Oh yes, that's happening. And maybe stick this just to pull that up there. I like this, it's coming together. Let's see, I do have this one that has more of a pronounced red and it does have some glitter. These you can't see, but there are, somebody has like mixed media them and there are, it is a little glittery. So, I could use this one instead. It's still not the, quite the white red, but it's closer. I could also maybe, maybe go like, what if I were to go like this? I really like these clouds. What if I were to use this one? No, I like it the other way, I think. Because, here's what I'm thinking, because these are bolder, right? Yeah, that's not working for me. 
Uh, I like that one. I like this. I think I'm going back to this. I don't know that I'm going to do any more umbrellas though. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to. Okay, almost wish I had one more circle over here. Like that. What if I did take this down? Nope, I don't like that. Sometimes I just know, have you guys ever noticed that? I'm just like, mm, nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, that's why I liked it better, because you know what? It, only five clouds were picking out, peeking out, picking. <laughs> okay, clouds aren't straight in the sky. All right, I do, I like this. Okay, well, maybe this could be like an anchor down here somewhere. I could cut it in half and put half here and then maybe kind of maybe i could scoot this down a little i'm okay with all the different shades of the blue because that's kind of the whole point right now right okay so like that and then or i could go more like this and put tiny letters ICE in there. I know I have some. I don't think I even need these. I could, however, layer these some more. I might do that. I might layer these some more and I may put a cloud over here. Gosh, I, you know what I kind of want to do? This is mean. Somebody put a lot of work into this. I don't think I can do that. Not even me. I say all the time to totally, um, take apart your embellishments. I almost just want this cloud, but I don't think I can do that. I would have guilt. <laughs> That's a lot. I couldn't do that. Okay, can't do that. But I could use one of these, perhaps down here. And I did pull out my sticker sheet here because there are snowballs on this. And I was thinking, one, I could use these as enamel dots, right? And two, I could use these little snowballs to kind of look like the hail um, in or around, maybe even a little polar bear. Ooh, my, my brain, my brain is thinking that could be bad. <laughs> that could be really bad. Do I have anything on this side? No, these are some old stickers, old stickers, but I'm thinking the polar bears. I really am. When you think of ice, you think of polar bears. Okay. He's cute. I don't know if he needs to go there. He could definitely go over here. Like I could somehow, maybe, I think I put too much adhesive on this one. I'm scared to cut it in half because what if I want the whole thing? Ah, just do it, Jen. just do it. Okay, so maybe if I put this down here, okay, like that. And I'm totally okay. Maybe I'll clip this little footsie off of my little guy here to make him look like he's tucked in there. I got a little crazy, I think, with the adhesive. Okay, so just like that. Oh yeah, I want polar bears. Okay, so then I have this guy and this guy. All right, so maybe I could put him here he's cute but I could bring some of the red up there so where could I put him like right there adventure still want you to be able to see adventure okay and maybe he could go down here I could maybe even take him off a of foam the foam off the back wonder if I can get it off without the drama sometimes it actually sticks right sometimes I think these dollar store stickers because that's where I got these long time ago was from the dollar store I do like this though nothing wrong with that I think that's okay okay not a hundred percent sold now I have snowballs that's what these are really 
And where could I put them? I mean, they come from the sky, but I don't want to put them on my photos. And these, I only have two of these particular ones, but I have a bunch of these. Like instead of raindrops, I could do snow, right? And I just put them and then put some here, like they're falling, right? Just not on the photo right here and a few here, maybe a couple down here, like it's laying on the ground. Okay, so I'll do that when I glue it down. Another thing I think I need to look for is ice and put that right in here. So, cause after the storm, there's a rainbow. That was kind of my thinking. Let's see, how tiny do I have? Ooh, I have these. These are tiny. These are little doodle bug ones. Okay, we'll see. They're not rub-ons, are they? Oh, they are. They are. Okay, so I'll have to rub them on there. So that's what I'll do. Let's see. Is there capital I's? No, of course not. That would be too easy. Okay, so I C E. I can totally do it. So I will rub on ice on here. All right. So I'm gonna go glue it down. Still kind of want this. Ooh, this one's nice. I could have that down there, or even right here. Yeah, maybe. Nope. I think it's too big. I kind of wanted to use an arrow. You know, you see adventure. Yeah, I don't like that either. Okay, stop trying, Jen. <laughs> it's too much. Okay, so I'm gonna go glue it down for real. I'll put the ice on there and I'll be back. All right, everybody, I got everything glued down. I got the ice on the little rainbow and it turned out really super cute. I wasn't expecting it to go as easy as it did. I was a little worried if I'm being honest. There is my cluster with my little polar bear in the middle of summer. <laughs> That's making Montana embellishments work, right? I've had those since I lived in Montana. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the process again. Go and see the other creators that are doing the Through the Rainbow. Check out Kelly and learn how to do this serendipity, use up your scraps little series that she's doing. Most of all, have fun. And remember, there is no wrong way. And I hope you have a really blessed day and you'll join me again. I'll talk to you later. Bye.